What's up everyone, Art of Patience Metal Fab, and I'm out in the shop to bring you another episode on the Volkswagen Beetle. As you guys have seen, there's been a ton of work getting done on this. The interior custom panels were a really cool episode. And in the last one, we had the seat fitment. Ben was working away in these custom seat brackets. You can see the driver's side Recaro is in, and he's just putting the finishing touches on the passenger side. If you guys haven't checked out that episode, I'm gonna put the link up here. Now in this one, since we got the driver in here and fitted for the seats, we can also fit him for the steering and the pedal components. So I've got Max laying out some of the aftermarket steering stuff on the table over there. We're gonna take a look at the kit and get started on this one. Now that the steering and brake pedals are virtually done, one of the big things that's been looming over us is adding a fuel cell to this car. Obviously this is a rear engine setup, so we do have some room to play with up here, but now we need to decide whether we can do an off the shelf unit or something custom. So Max, where are we at in the process? Uh, right now we're basically just kind of designing a buck that will follow the uh, the bonnet line essentially and down inside of where the suspension sits and then that way what we can do is kind of get a rough template of what a custom uh, fuel safe or fuel cell anything would fit in there so that's basically what i'm doing with the cardboard right here is a little bit of cardboard aided design and then uh i think gary will probably end up drawing something up in cad mac just made a good point off camera he said that we can really make anything you want here but then the eventual cost is what's going to either move the project forward or not so we have to actually design this thing uh both physically and digitally to figure out what it's going to cost us it might be way too much to pursue that project or the customer owner of the car might say yes it's worth worthwhile spending X amount to develop this one-off system. So with this one, we're gonna find out as time goes on. Some time later. Gary, what's the latest on this fuel tank situation? Uh, design work's done. Got the file out to fuel safe for quoting. So basically we're gonna be waiting on that quote and then the customer's gonna decide whether or not he's gonna go for it or do something off the shelf. Yep, off the shelf for about 10 gallons or custom for almost 20. Cool. And while we wait, I see Ben has started cutting into the tunnel. I did not know this was going to take place. So what is the purpose behind that? So uh, this right here, <laughs> although in like rat rod world or something, that's kind of cool. Not very conducive to uh, actually being able to shift this car very functionally. So we need to move the shift point back, being we brought the seat back and the steering back and the driver back. Uh, now the shift point's got to go back. So. 
we're going to take this piece, which houses the actual shifter. And because the linkage is straight, we can shorten the linkage. We'll take this, we'll cut this in half, basically flip flop the two pieces. That'll bring this piece back here. So we position it further back like that. And ideally, a much better spot for shifting. I'm really hoping you guys are enjoying the progress on the Beetle build. I realized as I'm editing that it's probably gonna be a little too much content to fit into one episode. So I'm gonna go ahead and split this one into a two-parter. The good news is I'm gonna post on a Tuesday and then a Thursday. That way you're not waiting too long in between the episodes. In the meantime, make sure you like the video, subscribe to our page. That way you're gonna be the first to know when the new video comes out. Stick around and I'll see you in the next one.